Flave City family, home sweet home. We're in Chicago. It's four o'clock. It's Friday evening. What does that mean, Rose, honey? It means it's hashtags Fridays with daddy, right? Rose just woke up from her nap in traditional fashion. Not as grumpy today, so that's really good. Um, things are gonna be a little different today. Holding the camera all evening long. Say hello to the one and only Kara. Hi, everyone. She's here. Uh, Art couldn't make it today, but he'll be back next week. Guess he's gonna join me in a minute. She's gonna cook dinner with me. We're gonna put Rose in her brand new chef's tower. If you saw my Instagram story from last night, she's loving it. Rose was going in the salt cellar last night, right, Rose? You were pinching the salt. And you're going. Can you show people how you're doing it? Pinch, take some salt, Rose. And then put it on the chicken. Salt bay. Baby salt bay. She was salt in the uh, sole last night perfectly. Very exciting. So we're going to oven roast a spatchcock pasture-raised chicken. Maybe the best ever pasture-raised chicken I've ever had is now on Thrive Market. I'm so exciting. So excited. Je uh, Desi's going to join us. We're going to make a kale salad, a homemade dressing. Very simple stuff tonight, but we get to hang out together on Fridays with Flav. So we're just going to hang out until Desi comes here. Um, you know the drill. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. All that great stuff. We're in Chicago on the north side where the Cubs are about to be eliminated from the playoffs, unfortunately. Um, Mira, a $2 holler from New York. Look, Amira gave us a kissing lemon emoji like that. Uh, keep checking in down there. Montreal, Quebec's in the house. Mandeepers. Um, also, Fridays with Flavor, always sponsored, Rose, by Thrive Market. Not only do they have the best pasture-raised chicken in the USA right now, all your favorite stuff from the grocery store. We're talking keto, paleo, organic, non-GMO is cheaper than the grocery store, Rose. The box comes to your door. They calculated with the math, you know, all the accountants, and said per order you save $32 compared to going to the grocery store. And they have some essentials we'll talk about later on. If you haven't tried out Thrive Market yet, there's a link down below in the video. That's my special link. First time customers get a 30 day um, kind of tr risk free uh, trial to check it out. And you get a free gift up to $24. Here she is. DJ D Snob, all the way from the Bay J with love. So that's what's going on tonight. Um, I have the oven preheating at 450 convec, which is really 475. We're going hot. We've done this before. Hot air in a convection oven, which means the hot air circulates on a wire rack. It means we're getting a good kind of like fan effect around there. So are you excited, Desi? Yeah. It can be really easy. It's too. your favorite word, like Spatchcock chicken is my favorite. Um, by the way, we have a shotgun microphone going tonight. Please let me know how the audio is. I know for sure it's better than it was in Boca, uh, but let me know. Hey, Desi, what kind of milk are you guys feeding Rose? We only have organic in Quebec. What kind of milk? milk. Uh, well, she's still breastfed, but other milks I give her are coconut milk and smoothies and sometimes almond milk. But a uh, very good milk for babies or toddlers is pea milk and flax, flax uh, milk. And Hemp, flax, and pea are the best pea. replacement to cow's milk, nutritionally wise. But if you're going to give them almond milk, it has to be milk without emulsifiers. Check this one out, Kara. This one is my favorite. It's milk, which Art loves because it's a reference to uh, Simpsons. But it's organic. More importantly, it's sprouted almonds, so there's Whoa. no anti-nutrients and there's no guar gum or emulsifiers. It's a little pricey, but uh, this one's the best. You don't want to give kids too many milks with all these emulsifiers uh, because those aren't the best for their tummy. We also got a $2 super chat from Ayavetta. Oh. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I oh. hope I am. Oh, is that Levetta Hawk? Yes. And thank you, Levetta. You're so sweet. Uh, we got Virginia in the house, all that good stuff. Ah, nice, Matthew. Uh, so let's get going. Um, so this right here, Kara, check it out, is a pasture-raised, slow-grown heirloom spatchcock chicken. So it actually came with the backbone out. So check it out. This is called spatchcock. You cut out the backbone. Um, Thrive Market now has Cook's Venture pasture-raised chicken. This chicken, you guys, is the best one in the country. Um, it's a cool company out of Arkansas, and I'm so happy because I just recently learned Thrive Market has it, and I'll show you the link later on, but on the poultry section of their website, right now they have a October sale, and you get 5% cash back for Thrive Bucks. Um, try this pasture-raised chicken, I promise you, Roasty, you've never tasted anything like it before. 
So I just want to dry it out a little bit so it doesn't uh, have too much moisture before it goes in the chicken, uh, before it goes in the oven. Your viewers from Finland. Finland's in the best okay. part when the Finn fans are here, man. Love to hear that. New York. New York's in the house. We got Naples, Florida in the house. Question for Rose. What kind of toothpaste does Rose use? No Not toothpaste. We're just teaching her to hold a toothbrush still. Yeah, she's not there yet, but she loves to brush her teeth because she's been watching me with my electric toothbrush forever, and um, she's really, really interested in it. Tracy, oh, David, God. a $5 holler for Rostina. Mm -hmm. By the way, Rosie, also known as Rostina, is crushing seaweed. She, oh, you want to season the chicken? I'll give you that in a second. Mm -hmm. Kids, I don't know why, and it's a good thing, love seaweed, and she eats this, uh, the sea snacks. Sea snacks, extra virgin olive oil, seaweed. She crushes it. It's super high in uh, vitamins, minerals, and iodine. Really good for kitties. That's for you, Rose. I don't personally like it, but she loves it. So let's season our chicken. Come on in here, Kara. Season aggressive. Be aggressive. Be -E aggressive. This is a big bird, right? We have to season all the way through. And I want a nice salt and pepper crust on there. So I'm going to pick up the fatty legs. Look at Rose just crushing that. Mm -hmm. Kara, look at that. Ooh! How many sheets, Carol, would you say she eats a day? Ooh, six. <laughs> six sheets. She loves that stuff. Six it's to eight. It's so crazy to me. Good iodine, right, man? Yeah, great iodine. But you want to make sure the ones you get are made with either avocado oil or extra virgin. There's some at the stores, including the Kirkland bath from Costco, that are made with sunflower oil. Oh, we don't need that yet. We'll use that for the salad. You know the super chat from Marta Thomas. Marta. Thank you, Marta. Yeah, you don't want those unfortunately because i know the price is amazing for the one at uh, costco but you don't want it so now that she has her chef's power she's kind of grabbing anything and everything mm -hmm. but she's very very interested in everything she was seasoning the food with me last night the other night she was putting stuff into the pot for my lentil stew it was pretty fun another ten dollar super chat from maritza maritza number one fan rose you have a number one fan from maritz mm -hmm. yeah that's you you thump your chest like a gorilla, Rose? Huh? Yeah, you thump it like a gorilla because you're a boss lady. <laughs> now you can do it here, Rose. We're going to season the chicken. So, Rose, can you pinch some salt over the chicken, please? Grab some salt and put it over the chicken. Thank you. A little more. Pinch a little more, a little more salt. Uh-huh. And then put it right over the chicken. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Just in case you touched the chicken. I don't think you did. Um, and then just to add a little more flavor, I mean, chicken sometimes can be bland, especially the breast meat. You didn't touch the no, I don't think she did. I'm going to poke, I'm going to poke a little bit of ghee under the breast skin because the breast meat is where things can get a little dry, right? But um, I'm going to ensure that doesn't happen. I know it won't happen because this is a beautiful bone on bird. And just like with uh, a bone on steak, Anything with the bone on has more flavor and more moisture, so it's harder to overcook, especially compared to like a boneless, skinless chicken breast. But check out what I'm going to do. So this, Kara, right here. This is one of my favorite Thrive Market items. This is the organic grass-fed ghee. If we had smell-o-vision right now, like Amber, Bianca, Milwaukee Brewer, smell that. It smells like movie theater butter. But unlike that one, which is made of hydrogenated oils, this is just pure grass-fed ghee. I, I don't know why I haven't done it, but do you guys think I should create my own Flav City landing page on Thrive Market with all of my essential Thrive Market items and branded items, like my coconut milk and sauces and stuff like that? I did that like a year ago, and then I stopped, but I think I should do that because I get about four emails a week asking about that. Now check it out, Kara. Here's what I'm going to do. $5 super chat from oh, there Sierra. Oh, there she is. Sierra Moe. Down. You look like another person. Sierra, I love it's to amazing. Love to hear that. We haven't seen you in a while. You're losing a lot of weight. Amazing, uh, amazing. Thank you for changing my life. You're welcome, Sierra. So check this out. I'm going to put ghee right here. I'm going to put ghee right there. What I did is peel back the skin. And then I, that way I can just take the ghee, shove it under, show that chicken skin who's boss, and it will melt into the breast meat. Push it all the way back and keep that breast meat nice and flavorful and nice and juicy. So that's, that's proper, y'all. That's proper. Now, the oven's going at convection 475. 
which lowers to 450. Like I said, the advantage of conduction, which Chris and Austin, if you're watching, is your favorite, is conduction has the fan blowing the whole time. So it's kind of like an air fryer mentality that you're getting constant air circulation around there. And I have the chicken cara on a wire rack set inside of a sheet tray, so constant air is going around. So I'm gonna place this. Oh, you know, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there too, because remember what happened last time we did that at a high heat? We got some smoky Joe in here. Sharon said that your audio isn't very clear. What does everyone else think? Yeah, well, let us know how the audio is. audio not clear. It's not going to be as good as the microphone, but it should be pretty darn good, it's my guess. Mm. Hello from Bulgaria. Mmm. Elena. Stravete. Dobar vetcher. Dobar vetcher, no. They're saying it's not clear, it's a little muffled. Some are saying it's not too bad. Okay. We'll just pick up a little bit. It's the best we can do with two people like that. Um, Sorry, I'll try to get a little bit closer. No, it's not. It's, it's not Maybe even. I can erase them. It's already erased to the max. Okay. Double check it though, if you want. It should take about 45 minutes. I'll check it after 25 minutes and rotate the pan for equal cooking. Um, but that's what's going on. That chicken, I'm telling you, is where it's at. So if you're just joining, we got 800 people watching. Leave comments down below. Let us know where in the world you are watching from today. Hey. Let us know what you're making for dinner tonight. And if you didn't hear me earlier, we've been gushing about Thrive Market all day. Uh, Thrive Market sponsors every Friday with Flav. In addition to the stuff I have, check this out real quick, quick Kara. So the ghee, this is my essential box. It's the grass-fed ghee, best flavor ever. For baking, Desi loves their virgin coconut oil. It's slightly more expensive than Costco, but the flavor is better than anything I've tasted. I put the grass-fed collagen peptides in my tea every morning, and this is actually the same price of Costco, not at the sales down at Costco, same exact price. And these are coming to Thrive Market in about a week. A husband and wife started this company called Singing Pastures. It's the only pasture-raised heritage pork stick on the market. They're so darn tasty. So what I want you to do, check this out, Kara, is right below the video here, I have my personal link that gets you a free gift when you click it. So try this out here. You get a $24 gift when you try Thrive Market here. Uh, one of those gifts is a, a Chomps grass-fed stick, and you try it out 30 days risk-free. But here's what I would also get in addition to the stuff I just showed you. On the poultry page, this is the Thrive Market pasture-raised chicken. Right now you can get about 16 pounds for 120 bucks. This is the one that has the one we're using now, and you get 5% cash back on Thrive Bucks. This is all the chicken from uh, Cook's Venture. This is some of the best uh, pasture-raised chicken you'll ever have in your life. So if you want to try out Thrive Market, uh, try the chicken, try the ghee and that stuff. It's really worth it, and uh, I think you're going to love it. People okay. are still saying that the audio is a little kind of rough. Interesting. And that I the video is freezing Wow. every couple minutes. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about the video. It looks so, pretty good on my end here. Also, 499 Super Chat from Daisy. Oh, I see that. Thank you, Daisy. Thrive Market order. Just got it. Nice, Daisy. All that good stuff. Should I just switch to the uh, individual microphone or keep going? Sure. But I want them to be able to hear you and stuff like that. I'll come closer to you. Uh, is this okay or should I switch to the uh, normal microphone? You guys vote right now and I'll do it. I was hoping to do it with Jesse and I. I mean, it's a shotgun mic and we're right here. Did you check the settings on that? Can you try it? It should be fine. Yeah. We got this tower from Sprout Kids for Rose. It's great. Everyone says it's good. I'm not going to switch. Rubbing on something? I half and half. I don't know how about it. A lot of people say it's bad. I changed something. Yeah. I'll just switch the audio. I don't want. I'll switch. Okay. I'll switch. Okay. Everyone's saying switch. All right, so let's do this. Oh, yep. <laughs> Luckily, everything's in the oven. What? So while I'm doing this, can someone give me an update on the Cubs game, please? And then I can hook up Carol's. Yeah, Kara can have her own microphone, oh, too. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <I'm sure laughs> <she's> Next <laughs> yeah. By the way, everyone, oh, let's, just, let's say hi to Kara for being a great camera person today. Hi, everyone. She's trying to model herself after your art, and she's doing a great job. I am job. trying my best. Yeah, she's doing a great job. So let's do this real quick. I'm going to put, I'm going to throw this cam here. I'm going to go silent for a second while I hmm? set this up. I'll give you one. I'll give you one. First put you this on my back. Oh, here. don't forget this thing, babe. I don't know if that matters. Uh, for this 
Only if we're using the second microphone for Kara. Okay. Here, let me you use, use the clip and just put it right there. Thank you. Good? Yeah, it's perfect. I'm just putting my microphone on first. We cannot do a live stream without art without having an issue. How funny is that? No. It's like impossible. <laughs> Like Mission Impossible. Art's, okay. art's not here. There's going to be an issue. Okay, give me a second. And we're going to be in no audio for a sec. <laughs> Rose. Look at you. A little too tight for you there? You think that tower? She wants to break out of her tower. Mm -hmm. You want to be up here, but then not the tool, right? Art's probably watching this now. I'm shaking his head. Like these idiots. Okay. I think he just had the day off. Just like hang out home. Uh, yeah, he was busy. Let's see. This is yeah, going to yeah, go yeah. in here. This is going to go in here. Turn this on. Oh, that's taking a while. Well, this is not my expertise. I'm the cook. And then for All right. I had a feeling that was going to happen. For Kara, I want to put this right here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. That should do the oh, trick. Cool. Can all right, audio check, audio check. My name is Bobby and I'm here to say I'm going to cook chicken in a major way. Much better? Good. All right, perfect way. Woohoo, we did it. Adventures of the technical midgets. Okay. Chicken is in the oven. I want to make a loaded kale salad and a homemade dressing hearty though right maybe something autumnal i think we have my favorite word autumnal i think we've done like a honey mustard before but that could be the call again for tonight and then maybe we'll make some kind of like semi-homemade pesto or relish to go over the chicken when it comes out oh there i think we have some flatbreads from the unbun on tortillas we should maybe warm those up too for the chicken Ooh, rose has the Look at Roasty. I know. Ah, it's okay, Roasty. Worst comes to worst, we have uh, the Capello's crust, but it might be in the back. I have those un, un pizza crusts. I, I like those better. These? Okay. We'll make this too. This is the uh, Capello's crust. We'll throw that into the uh, oven last minute. All right, everyone says this is great. All right, so keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from, and we're going to get all the good stuff out here. There's still a debate about my audio. There's no way the audio is not good now because we're using the top of the line microphone. Are you trying to leave comments? Have you said hi to everyone, Rose? You said hello? Hi! <laughs> Rose wants to type comments. Here, Rose, you want to reply to people? Here. Type away, sister. I know you want to get in there. Here, watch Rose. She's very good at typing. Mm -hmm. Here. Rose is going to type a comment here right now. Okay, Rose. Type. Type. Uh-huh. 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 You're just hitting the space, but there you go. <laughs> and send. She, after all that typing, there's, uh-oh, now the mouse is gone. There it is. There's one, there one, keep typing. There's one letter, N. People there we go. People are saying that it's, the sound is cracking a bit. There you go. Rose just typed that. Should be good. Cracking only happens when this thing gets hit. Oh, browser, wow. <laughs> Over here. Where are you going, Rose? Huh? You have your one of your really? Google Cloud or what? Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, let's get all our vegetables out here. We're gonna put cauliflower in there. We're gonna put. Whoa, you're opening a lot, a lot of stuff. Here. That's light. <laughs> you, better call you don't want to open that one, Rose. That's light. Move. <laughs> that has our mock-ups for our immune tea on there. Okay, you're, you're, you're good, Rose. You're good. You're, you're good. You're good. Thank you. You're good, sister. You're good. I need to close the browser there. Hold on. Uh -huh. I know, I know. Hold on. There we go. Okay, we're back here. I get to watch an ad now. That's great. Uh, celery roasty. Here. We'll never end with six billion dollars. Dusty's already counting. Do you happen to still have that code for the wine? April would like to know and would yes, like to order April. some. Yes, uh, April. I do. Um, I'll share it with you next week. Uh, um, I, can't, I don't think I can pull it up right now, but yes. Oh, this... What we got you, April. Uh, what else do I want to put in there? And then for main, for dressing, we'll do mayonnaise, maple syrup, lemon. It's kind of like 
I made this variation of the salad on uh, stories last night and it was great. This one will be a little more loaded per se here. Yeah, exactly. Milwaukee Brewer, don't let Rose download any malicious software. Don't worry, Rose downloaded PC Matic. We're safe. <laughs> okay, there it goes. Let's get a big bowl for salad. Yes, yeah, so we had a great time in Boca. We were there for seven days. Time flew. Got a lot of great work with Erica. Did a little bit of house hunting too. We saw some really cool properties. So we got to figure out what we want to do. It's great to be back. Definitely chilly. It was 90 degrees there. This morning it was like 40 some odd degrees. But um, it's nice. This time of year is great. So kale. How well do y'all know Bobby? What kind of kale is this? Take a look, Kara. Is this curly kale? Is it green kale, red kale? Is it black kale? What is this called? And there's more than one name. I want to hear them all. How many spoons are you dropping, Rose? My goodness. <laughs> I see dinosaur. I see lacinato. I see dinosaur. I see lacinato. There's two more names for it. Two more names. <laughs> nice. Nini put a dinosaur. Black and... Come on, where's my, where's my uh, Italian reference here? I don't see it yet. I know, Rustine. Tuscan, Sierra got it, exactly. It's the most confusing kale of all. That's four names, but it's so much better than green kale or traditional curly kale. It's the softer, more supple side of kale. Very, very pleasant to eat. Y'all having a pleasant evening tonight? All right, Rose? Oh, where's Annette? I hope Annette is watching. Wash it really quickly. You want to help me with my kale? So Annette on a live stream, I don't know, what was that, Rose? Like a few months ago taught us, take anything in your kitchen that has a loop. This is my baby tongs here. Put it over and then it takes the stem off perfectly. And I love it because you don't have to buy a tool like I have that specifically does one thing like stripping kale. And it really does a better job than uh, the kale tip, uh, the kale stripping tool that I have. Very, very good stuff. Jamie doesn't see much dinosaur kale in North Carolina. I would move then, Jamie, to be honest. <laughs> I have a few rules where I'm going to live. There has to be a Costco, a Whole Foods, and Trader Joe's, and Walmart within 15 minutes. And you have to have dinosaur kale. Otherwise, I just can't live there. N503 wants to know where you can get the clean pesto. Oh, good question. Yes. Um, the three clean pesto brands, but my favorite is Gotham Greens, which we're going to use later on. Gotham Greens, go to their website, do a store locator. Mazetta is another one, and Delano. Those are the only three I know of that use extra virgin olive oil or olive oil and clean ingredients. Pesto should never be made with sunflower oil, safflower oil. Those are just processed plant-based oils that are garbage. Whoa, look at that, Rose. super chat. I see that from June. I tried Malk for the first time and I loved it. I love to hear that. It's just good stuff. And then Joe Dell, Rose. Look what Joe Dell just sent us, a $50 holler with a pair riding a rocket saying, I'm on a rocket. Oh, Joe Dell, you're so sweet. Thank you. Rose is juicing some lemon. Oh, thank you, Rose. I'm going to use that for the uh, dressing. Do you ever make any Arab-inspired recipes? Yes. I love Arabic flavors. I love uh, Middle Eastern flavors, the spices, the bold flavors. Yes, we have a bunch, even in the cookbook back there. Uh, by the way, the new cookbook, which is still in pre-sales, is already a number one new release. Uh, so let me show you, Kara. Come over here for mm -hmm. a second. So I have my uh, Amazon store down here. Uh, if you click on here, it not only has all of my uh, kitchen gear that I have here, but my, you can pre-order the cookbook here. It's coming out on December 1st. And look at it. It's already a number one new release in Heart Healthy Cooking. So pre-order that. I believe the price will go down a bit when it ships. And then uh, the other cookbook, if you want the keto cookbook. Oh, that's not a bestseller anymore. It was last week. Mm. Wow, 2,600 five-star ratings. You guys are amazing. That's still on there. And all of my kitchen gear. Uh, did I say 36 or 26? 2,600 five-star wow. rating. That's, you guys are amazing. All my gear is on here too. So check that out right here. Also in the description box is my Thrive Market promo, which you should at least check out for the 30 days risk-free because you can, you can cancel Thrive Market after 30 days, get your $60 membership fee back. Even though you'll make that back in savings, you can get that money back, but keep the free gift. So it's completely risk-free. That's why you should try it out at least once. 
And there's a $25 super chat from Rachel Murray. She oh, said, Rachie. hi, fam. Happy Friday. Thank you. Always welcome in SoCal. Thank you, Rachie. I appreciate that. Hope work is going well at the queue. And Mariah Torres Sorry. say, hey, you, with a $2 holler. Let's see. So says the audio is cracky. I can't, is the audio still cracky? I almost think I need to order a new one of these uh, microphones or something. Bobby, when is the app coming? That's a, that's a Desi question. Desi, when is the app coming? I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll be on the safe side. There's a, see, we can't release it until it's really, really ready for the market. Because even though it might be ready this month, the database isn't built yet. So I don't want you guys taking to the grocery store and 40% of the stuff you scan doesn't show up. So I have to go through thousands of products. And then when the time comes, I'll let you know on a live stream, I'll need some Flav City family members to beta test for me. Meaning I'll need you to take the app to the grocery store and scan a ton of stuff um, if someone's willing to help. Uh, that'll probably happen sometime this month. So I'll let you all know. The tea will probably come out very end of the month. It's a little slow in production, but we have to make sure everything's right. And the book is on the December 1st, but the Flav City t-shirts, those are coming out next week on Wednesday for sure. Thank you. What is Rose eating? Uh, she was eating some uh, sea snacks, seaweed. Uh, cooked with extra virgin olive oil. Now she's eating a lemon. She loves like really acidic foods. Yeah. Oh yeah, but I don't want to block her face. Three ninety nine for red organic wine at Trader Joe's. Yeah, it's red organic, but it still has organic approved chemicals and added sugar. That's why I don't drink any wine that's not non sugar added and free of any, any chemicals. It has to be free of chemicals. And then 499 super chat from Mariah Torres. She said, hi, we love you guys from the Torres family. My parents and I buy everything Bobby approved and we love Rose so much. Oh, thank you, Mariah. You're very, very sweet. Love it. Ran into some Flav City fans today at uh, Costco. I was at Costco and Aldi filming videos today by myself. It's always fun to run into people. And uh, I had a lot of requests to do a public hall or in Florida. I just didn't have time for that. We were working so hard. The only time we had was to cook dinners on stories. By the way, I want to make a couple of those recipes on live streams coming up because they were so good, including the keto hearts of palm chicken with cream of mushroom sauce. It was probably one of the best things I've made with hearts of palm pasta ever. It was gang to the busters. Hey, Roasty. Yeah, that mushroom thing. Oh my God, it was so good. It was actually a variation of a recipe in the cookbook. So check this out, Kara. In the cookbook, if you go to the chicken chapter, I believe it was a variation on this recipe. Let's see. Chicken, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, it was a variation of this. So in the book, this is chicken breast with cream of mushroom sauce and it's served with keto mash. But instead I made hearts of palm natural heaven pasta and poured all that sauce over the top and it was cooked with um, pan seared chicken breast, juicy as can be, uh, mushrooms, onions, and zucchini, and a little bit of herbs and coconut milk. And then you put everything back in the pan. It was amazing. So good. We'll make that on live stream if you guys want to uh, check that out. But that recipe in the cookbook is delicious. And then $2 super chat from Sandra Diaz. Sandy. Uh, little fox. Oh, the fox is saying, hey, Rosie, thank you. Art is not able to make it today. He was busy, but he'll be back uh, next week. You don't worry about that. Why Roasty for Rose? Because we have so many names for Rose. We always think of new ones, right? Right, Rose? <laughs> hey, Rose? Let's show everyone some animal movements. I'm a penguin, and I turn my head, right? I turn my head. Huh? What does the giraffe do? Does the giraffe bend their neck onto the granite, huh? <laughs> Rose, what does the crocodile do? The crocodile wiggles their hips, right? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. What about the monkey? Monkey, monkey swings their arms, right? Ah, yes. <laughs> you sweetie. She loves being what up here. What about the gorilla? The, the gorilla. gorilla thumbs chest. Yes, ah, 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 that's right. Or like Matthew McConaughey in Wall Street. <laughs> 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 That's right, Roasty. All right, let's chop up this. Let's see how my uh, ch oh, chicken's getting amazing color already. Wow. Check this out, Kara. Also, Dats Just Prime wants to know where you can find red wine with no sugar in it. Um, no sugar you find it right here. I'll talk about it next week. Uh, this is the wine you want. Uh, this is the rosé, but the red. 
This is um, Seco Wine Club. It's one of the only organic, sugar-free, uh, no chemical wines on the market. I have a promo code, which I don't have it in this link, but I'll share it. Just wait till next week. I'll hook you up. And then $5 super chat from June. June says, go, Rosie, go, go, go. Nice. <laughs> I agree. Lala says Art needs to move in with us. That's right. When we move to a bigger house, he's more than welcome to. Okay, so let's just roll up our kale like a cigar. And the nice thing about kale is that you can actually be rough with it. You can dress it ahead of time, and it's not going to go wilty, which is really nice. Richard wants to know what happened to that Wagyu beef. It's in the freezer. We're doing it next week, Richie boy. I got that Wagyu from Costco. Actually, you know what's so exciting? So I was there today. And I didn't look at the seafood because I really don't buy seafood there. But then one of my fans, uh, Liz, on Instagram sent me a DM. At her Costco in Philly, they had king salmon, wild king salmon for $15 a pound. Wild king salmon is the best wild salmon you can get. And it's so fatty and rich. It's 30 bucks a pound at Whole Foods. Uh, they don't even have it at Thrive Market. Has anyone else see that at uh, Whole, at uh, Costco? I gotta buy that next time if they have it. King Salmon is bomb.com. It's so good. The best. It's the best. All right. Kara, can you speak Spanish? Uh, not really. <laughs> I took four years in high school and didn't keep up with it in college, and I've lost the majority of it. Wow, four years? Yep. Dang, that's a long time. And I took it all in high school. Yep. Desi I took it in can, middle uh, school. Desi's able to speak Spanish quite well. Yeah. Although you're not practicing It's a great Spanish. language. You can practice car conmigo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't actually want to practice because I lose my Bulgarian, right? I'd rather speak Bulgarian than Spanish. That way when I'm talking to Desi and I don't want people to understand what I'm saying, they won't understand Bulgarian, but yeah, everyone understands Spanish. Maria Martinez would like to know if you should buy organic bananas. Are they on the dirty dozen? No, you can buy conventional, no need. I do just because they're literally 20 cents more expensive, but you don't have to. Can you buy conventional mango? Yes, you can. Anything that has a thick skin like that, mangoes, bananas, um, papaya, cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, you don't have to buy, which is nice. That's nice. Oh, I'm looking forward to uh, making some of Desi's paleo recipes from the cookbook with you guys. Now that the weather is cooling down, she has some amazing recipes in the cookbook. Five dollar super chat from Lala Girl. Diane, Art does not have to move in with you guys. He just needs to move to the same city. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a little further away. He's not in the technical city of Chicago. He can move in too. I don't mind it. It would be nicer if he moves in. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. Right, so let's just put... Here when, uh, yeah, that's right. Before Rose was born, born, he used to sleep over on the air mattress and we'd crank out content two days in a row. Uh, but those, those days are gone now. Those, those days were intense. We used to make so much content. But now, to be honest, we make even more. Art comes over three days a week. We crank content. Today, I went to Aldi and Costco by myself and filmed two videos. By the way, the, the channel just exploded. The last 10 days, my views are up like 50% from the previous three months. Um, views went down a lot when coronavirus started and they never really recovered, but now they're back to pre-COVID uh, numbers, which is great because uh, the channel grows and obviously my main source of revenue is the ad revenue on uh, YouTube, so that's really nice. Nikita would like to know if you recommend vitamin D, C, and zinc supplements for toddlers? And if you do, what are they? Um, I'd say yes. I have to look into what they are because a lot of these toddler supplements will have other bad ingredients in there. Um, I recommend those for everyone. If you watch a video about that, search Flav City Vitamin D. There's a video specifically saying why you have to eat or take those supplements or foods rich in those vitamins in the fall and winter because they're immune system boosters. Yeah, I would not do it all year round, but maybe no. during the winter. Absolutely. Vitally important. Um, you know who makes the best vitamin C is actually uh, Synergy. 
that I recommended their multivitamin in that video because a lot of vitamin C's might come from ascorbic acid and I accidentally re recommended one that was a multi uh, vitamin C, D, and zinc in that video, but it was from ascorbic acid. Synergy comes from natural botanical uh, resources and it's way, way better for your body. There's more what they call bioavailability. I think Dr. Berg talks about that. Dr. Berg. What do you think about Swift pork products? No, it's garbage. Swift is the worst of the worst. That's, that's the factory farming, you guys. That's why you want to get pasture-raised pork, pasture-raised chicken, and grass-fed beef. The other stuff is the stuff that's bad for the environment and bad for you because it's factory farm GMO. Anna Chavez says she found some ice cream called Dream Pops that has Bobby approved ingredients. Dream Pops? She said they sweeten it with ice cream. They sweeten it with coconut sugar. Really? I, you Ooh. know what? Someone, Dream Pops. Yeah, I think someone sent me a picture of that recently. It was on the West Coast. It was like coconut milk and coconut sugar sweetened. Really cool. Hmm. Between that... And that coconut uh, cult. Oh my God, such good stuff. Time to rotate the chicken. So yeah, you're actually doing the environment and the farm and the farmer and the animal a disservice when you're getting factory farmed protein. But when you're getting wild caught, pasture raised, grass fed, you're doing everyone a service because the animal has a great life. Uh, it doesn't uh, create any um, emissions of methane because uh, all of it is carbon neutral. It's offset from the, uh, from the plowing of the fields that the cows do, from the regenerative uh, stomping down of the grass. It's pretty cool. Come back here for a second, Kara. Let's show. Sure. Also, N503 said there are 100% grass fed Wagyu frozen patties at Costco. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen them yet. I talked about that in my video recently. So check it out. We're getting some nice color. I'm going to rotate this. We still have another probably 20, 25 minutes. And I think I'm going to pump up the heat just a little more. Pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. Dance, dance. So I'm at 450 convec. I think I'm going to do this, y'all. I'm going to go here. How do I do this? Uh, cancel oven convec. My smart oven. Come on, smart oven. Hello. Hello. There we go. Uh, convect bake will do 500. We just have to set a timer here. And then that'll lower it automatically. This is how smart it is. It's like, oh, 500? We do to 475. And I'll set the timer for another 20 minutes. And then what are your thoughts on peppers and sweet corn? Do they need uh, to be organic or? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Peppers are one of the dirtiest of the dirty dozen. That's a must. And sweet corn, yes. A lot of sweet corn isn't necessarily GMO but it's still sprayed with Roundup. You don't want that. Bad news. Bad news. So, like I said, that chicken, if you didn't hear me earlier, is one of the best pasture-raised chickens in the country. There's a cool place in Chicago called Local Foods. They introduced me to Cook's Adventure Chicken, but now it's on Thrive Market. They have a monster box, and I want you guys to check it out because they have an October sale. Um, if you haven't tried Thrive Market, this is a great way to place your first order. So let's show them again, Kara. What? So Thrive Market's been sp sponsoring my channel for about five years. You click my custom link right here. It takes you to Thrive Market website. Sign up, pay your membership fee, and you get, oh, hello, hello, there we go. You get a $24 gift. One of those gifts is um, Chomps grass-fed sticks. But if you don't love Thrive Market, you can cancel after 30 days, get your membership fee back, but keep the gift. But the chicken, this is it. You go to the poultry section of their website here. Don't click on the Mary's, that's just organic chicken. Click on the pasture-raised special. It's 15 and a half pounds for 120 bucks, which is a really good deal for pasture-raised chicken. Plus you get 5% in cash from Thrive Bucks. You get all this, pasture-raised wings. I've had those wings, they're amazing. The whole chicken we're cooking now, bone-in, drummies, uh, breast, all that good stuff. It's from Cook's Venture. It's some of the best chicken you're ever going to try. So try them out. There's nothing to lose. It's uh, 30 days risk-free. You're going to love it. I'm telling you. When is your immune tea coming out? Uh, immune tea will definitely be by, I'd say, the end of this month. I was hoping to get it out earlier, uh, but we had a little uh, delay getting a couple of the ingredients. Um, but I'm super excited. If you don't know about it, Flav City Immune Tea is the powdered version of our liquid immune tea with turmeric, ginger, black pepper, 
uh, monk fruit, a little bit of coconut oil, lemon juice, lemon peel, uh, and uh, that's it. Very, very clean. It's good for anti-inflammatory and immune purposes, and every ingredient except the lemon, we couldn't find organic lemon yet, is organic. There's no fillers, there's no maltodextrin, there's no sugar, there's no fake sugar. Clean as a whistle. Okay, let's... This is the longest salad ever in the history of mankind. <laughs> it's an hour to make. <laughs> That's why I like this kind of dinner. You put the chicken in, you set it, and you forget it. And then where will they be able to buy your tea? Oh, and that'll be size? on uh, shopbravecity.com. Don't worry, I'll tell you all about it. There is a sign-up sheet for the pre-sale. I didn't put it in this link, um, but I'll share it in another one you'll get you'll if you sign up for that pre-sale list you'll get an email before anyone else because we only ordered 15,000 to start and we already have 13,000 people on the waiting list so my guess is we're going to sell out pretty quick but we're going to reorder then and uh the goal is to obviously get the Flav city fans into it but then start getting mainstream and then having retailers call us maybe we'll be in costco you never know rusty do you say hi to everyone watching who's now who just started Rose? hi everyone Welcome to Roasty's Kitchen. Hmm? Welcome to Roasty's Kitchen. So sweet. She had a great walk today with uh, Kara. Can we order the tea online? Yep, shopflavecity.com. It'll be there. The website's actually live right now, but you can't place an order. I like Rose's stool. We need something like that for adults. <laughs> <laughs> the stool is actually cool. It's from Sprout Kids. They make Rose's uh, table there. They make a lot of... That's her table that she eats all of her meals at. Um, I think Flav City on their website gets you 10% off. And this is called the Chef's Tower. Uh, immune tea, Cynthia, by the end of the month. Trust me, I'll let you know. I'll advertise it. I want to create some Facebook ads. Does anyone know how to like do targeted Facebook ads very well? Because I, I want to do that because I hear it's a great use of money to ad advertisements, but I have no idea how to do that. If you're an expert in Facebook ads or Instagram ads, please send me an email, bobby at flavcity.com. Um, I love to run some targeted ads, but really, really know what I'm doing, not waste my money. Because people need that kind of stuff. You look at other stuff on the market, like emergency and whatnot, they have either sugar or fake sugar in there. They have artificial flavors, natural flavors. It's totally bogus. I think for the next go around, I'm gonna add an immune plus immunity and put acerola powder in there too. That could be really, really cool. How much is it? It's a $29.99 for 30, 30 day supply. It's a dollar a serving. Once we get bigger, prices will come down, that's, but that's actually the best we can do for the quality. Everything's organic in there, except for the lemon, which doesn't have to be, and there's no filler or anything. Doc Nino wants to know what anti-inflammatory products you can take every day. Do you recommend what kind of anything? products? Anti-inflammatory. Oh, oh, well, there's really not any products you can take every day. Um, it's really about a diet. Yeah, search Flav City Anti-Inflammatory on YouTube. I have a whole video dedicated to uh, the most anti-inflammatory stuff at the store and what to avoid the inflammatory stuff, too. Let's grate a couple uh, carrots in here, too. Look at Rose in the kitchen. Oh, nice. Okay, Let's get the flashcards out there. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Let's see if Rose can match it. Shyamali, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, wants to know what type of good chocolate milk is for kids. There actually is one, and it's the only one on the market. Maple Hill. Excuse me. <laughs> Maple Hill makes a grass-fed chocolate milk that only has four grams of sugar per serving. Most have 10 to 15, and it's grass-fed. It's amazing. Look for it in the um, middle aisles in the shelf-stable milk area. Amazing stuff. I haven't seen it in the, um, the cold case, but man, oh man, to see a grass-fed chocolate milk that's Bobby approved, that's pretty rare. Four ninety nine super chat from Mary Ann. I've never seen that emoji. Look at that, man. Looks like me with my hat backwards. <laughs> wow, Rose. <laughs> what probiotic brand do you recommend? Ancient Nutrition makes a very good one. What season of Next Food Network star did you try going on? Ugh, I don't remember. I tried a couple of them. Good question. 
Hey, Bobby, for the immune tea booster, can you make a cold brew, like an ice? Oh, absolutely. It's soluble um, in cold or hot water, so you don't have to do it in hot. It's just really cool because I will share with you, and it's on my blog, if you search Flav City Immune Tea, the liquid version of that is the most popular recipe on my blog. It's lemon peel, lemon juice, fresh turmeric, fresh ginger, black pepper, coconut oil, honey, and I think that's it. And I make a batch for three days. And it came to me, I'm like, well, why don't we make a shelf-stable powdered version using best-in-class ingredients that are just the dry version of that? Because no one's done that on the market yet. And you know if I'm going to put something on uh, my name on there, and this is going to be my first product, it's going to be right. And it is. It's the second best thing you can do to making a fresh tea, which you can't always do. Imagine eventually when we start going out and traveling more or go to the office, you're going to want something like this. All you do, right? You take the scooper that comes with it. Where's my scooper? Here it is, right? You just take a scoop of the powder, put it in hot or cold tea. I prefer hot and you stir it up and it's done. It's very tasty, has the right amount of um, acid from the lemon, heat from the cayenne just a little bit and sweet from the monk fruit. And it's really, really good stuff. 499 super chat from Mariah Torres. She said shout out to her dad, Greg, who's been through lots of obstacles, including brain surgery, and he only eats Bobby approved products. I love Mariah. Thank you again. And for he's that. healthy now. So that's fantastic. That's what it's all about, right? A lot of health issues, cleaning the diet, doing what you got to do. That's how you stay healthy and keep all the bad stuff out. <laughs> Check this out. We're going to use this, Kara. Actually, it we're going to use good. this. The chicken smells really good. It smells amazing. Look at this. These nuts I have here. This company, I tagged them on a story and they sent this. Um, they make these um, raw sprouted seeds, specifically the ones uh, from Costco, I believe. But they have salad toppers. So these, check it out, are raw and sprouted pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, thyme, and garlic. But the traditional bag of this, this is a mixture of sprouted pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, watermelon seeds. But look at that, you're never gonna see this. 45% of your daily recommended intake of copper, 20% of zinc, which is good for your immune system, 35% of magnesium, which helps you sleep, 20% phosphorus, 25 vitamin E. This is so good. Eat a quarter cup of these nuts a day. I know Costco has a bag of sprouted pumpkin seeds. I believe it's a different brand. Pumpkin seeds are so good for your immune system. Um, I'll take a shallow top for this and just put it on there. But, mm, I try to take a handful, a big handful every day, babe, right? Mm, so good. So good. Mm hmm. Phone barcode scanner, when is it coming? Is it free or paid? The Bobby Approved app will have the barcode scanner. So you can scan any product at the grocery store. It tells you if it's Bobby Approved or not and why. It'll be $4.99 a month. Seven day free trial, of course. Probably coming end of November. We have a lot of work to still do for that. But in addition to the barcode scanner, it's gonna have all my information from every video in the app. So you can easily search and learn about bread, milk, dairy, meat, snacks, breakfast cereal, all there. It'll tell you which products are and aren't and recommend other ones too. It's going to be the ultimate shopping app companion ever. Not just for Flav City fans, but I think for everyone. And then Rosemary Scott would like to know where you can buy those seeds. Um, you know what? Besides uh, Whole Food, I'm not sure because they sent me a big box. Go to Go Raw website. Show that name here. They sent me an inordinate amount of those and I'm eating them all. Mm -hmm. Find a store locator. Oh my God, they're raw, meaning they're not roasted, and they're sprouted. When you sprout seeds like this, you unlock nutrients and enzymes that your body is going to absorb like crazy. And when you sprout, you get rid of any lectins, which is why I said earlier, this is one of the only almond milks we drink now because milk is not only organic, which it doesn't have to be for um, almond milk. But look, Kara, this is sprouted almonds meaning all the lectins in the skin are removed, nutrients unlocked, and there's no guar gum. There's no acacia gum. There's no xanthan gum. It's a little pricey, yes, but this is the kind of stuff you want. Now, when I make smoothies after the gym, I don't always use this. I'll just use like organic um, 
unsweetened plain almond milk from Costco or from Whole Foods because I don't want to use all my milk for that because it gets expensive. But for kids, that's what I would give them. Do you suggest protein, protein powder for two and older toddlers? Well, I have a whole video about that. Just because you're a toddler, it wouldn't really change. You want to get either plant-based Four Sigmatic or Laird Superfood or um, Tara's Whey Protein. Search Flav City Protein Powder. I have all the descriptions in the, uh, the links in the description box. That's what you want to give them. My favorite is the new Four Sigmatic plant-based protein. When I make it, when I come home from the gym, watch Rose on my story. She sees I'm making it. She cannot wait to get some and then she chugs it like a power lifter. I'm like, Rose, I'm the one who just got back from the gym, not you. That's really funny. Ooh, MC said that they found Go Ra at Walmart. Are you serious? Yeah, a smaller bag than Costco, but still lots of variety. So amazing. Something to keep an eye on. Amazing. Out. Yeah, the, the the one from Costco, I believe, isn't Go Raw. It's another company. And it was on sale last month. Amazing stuff. Eat a handful of sprouted pumpkin seeds every single day in the, uh, the winter. And that's your zinc boost. Not stupid emergency. That stuff is garbage. Have that. Uh, and that's what's doing your immune system proper. Quick question. What's the temperature set at for the oven? Right now, it's 500 degrees convection, which is really 475. I started it out at 475, which is really 450. I'm going for a high heat because check it out, Kara. I really want to make the skin as crispy as possible. And the only way to do that, I mean, look at that, is with high heat and convection mode. So that looks really, really good. I might even bump, bump up the heat just a little more. Ah, it's at 500. That's fine. I bet it's going to be done roughly in 10 minutes. The thing is, I actually want to take this chicken a little past done because the dark meat really starts to break down around 165, 170. And because it has the bone on, you won't overcook it. And I have a whole bunch of other cuts from this company in my freezer. I have the chicken wings and the... Um, bone on skin on chicken thighs. I, it's just very hard to get pasture raised chicken at the grocery store. You can find it at local co-ops and I always uh, encourage you guys to go to eatwild.com and search by your zip code. It tells you where to buy pasture raised and grass fed protein. But Thrive Market now has this bird. This is from Cook's Venture. It's a chicken startup uh, similar to Vital Farms. They make the best pasture raised heirloom slow growth chicken. And Thrive Market is one of the only places you can get it nationwide. So once again, you know I love Thrive Market. They've been supporting the channel for four and a half years. I only bring you guys the best sponsors like Thrive Market, Laird Superfood, stuff like that. Click my link down below. Try Thrive Market for 30 days risk-free. Get the um, pasture-raised chicken box under the chicken section. Get the ghee. Get the virgin coconut oil. And I told you guys earlier, coming in about five days is pasture-raised pork sticks. These are a husband and wife company. They reached out to me. They sent me some free product. This is about as good as it gets. It's pasture-raised heritage pork sticks with clean ingredients. So darn tasty. You can't get that kind of stuff at the grocery store. And pork is... Rose. What noise does the pig make, Rose? Show her. Show her. <laughs> Rosie, what noise does the piggy make? Huh? What does the piggy do, Rose? Yes, just like that. That's what the pig gets. The pig gets no love at the grocery store. Everything at the grocery store is factory, is farm crap. Maybe you can find some organic bacon, but it's very expensive. Pasture-raised pork is only available at small farmer's markets directly from co-ops or on Thrive Market, which they've actually been sold out since COVID. Um, so when Thrive Market used to have the pasture-raised pork and bacon combined with this chicken now, it's one-stop shopping, but they're out of the pork. Thrive has lots for healthy eaters. They do, and it's always cheaper than the grocery store, which is why I always uh, recommend them to you guys. 450 Fahrenheit is 260 Celsius. Thank you, Vicky. Collagen peptides, which ones do you like best? I like anyone that's pure, 100% grass-fed, unflavored. This is my favorite because I like to get it from Thrive Market, and it's the same price as Costco Vital Proteins. It's 100% grass-fed collagen peptides, um, unflavored. Never get flavored collagen unless it's the Primal Kitchen Collagen Fuel because they do it right. Everyone else uses natural flavors. I put one scoop of this in my tea every morning and then a scoop in my pro uh, protein smoothie after the gym. 
This stuff is so important. It's one of the things I really believe in when it comes into supplements because I don't take many supplements. Collagen is great as you get older because it replaces the collagen you're losing in your body. It's fantastic for your hair, your skin, your teeth, your nails, your gut, your immune system, and your joints. As you get older, your joints start to hurt. That stuff is great. I've heard from dozens of you guys saying, Bobby, after taking that for two weeks, I have no more joint, knee, or elbow pain, and it makes your skin glow like Rosie's greased up ch piggy cheeks, right Rose? Okay, we have to make the dressing. Let's make a little honey mustard maple creamy dressing. How's that sound y'all? Honey and mustard mm -hmm. maple? Yeah, because I'm so sweet I can't stick to one sweetener, baby. <laughs> yeah, here Desi, goes, that sounds very sweet. Amy wants to know if the recipe for the kale salad will also appear below. Um, it won't because we're making it up. Um, I have a five ingredient version of this in the upcoming cookbook coming out December 1st. That's kale, cauliflower, and um, a simple olive oil dressing. But I think maybe when I'm done, I'll type it up. The key, the base to this is just kale and cauliflower, something crispy, something sweet, like you can throw some raisins in here. That's easy. let why doesn't someone, someone write down this dressing recipe and then email it to me? And then I'll post it in the description box afterwards. So let's do this together. And this is why I love live streams. And this is why I love Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat Finley in Cleveland. Hey, yo, missed last couple weeks. What's this moving talk and where's my man Art? Art was busy today, moving and grooving. You never know, we need a bigger house. We were in Boca Raton, Florida. We really liked it, so stay tuned. Okay, honey, mustard, maple, creamy dressing. Avocado oil, primal kitchen. A uh, little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to do a collaboration with these guys. i get a promo code next week. This Spanish olive oil is one of the best tasting, most affordable ones you'll ever, ever find. A little bit of Thrive Market apple cider vinegar. Uh, what else? Maple syrup, obviously. A little bit of heat from sriracha. Adrian, they have one cookbook out right now. It's the keto cookbook. Um, it's available on Amazon, and then they have their next cookbook coming out pretty soon, right? You December 1st? December 1st? Yeah. If you want the cookbook, uh, the link down below underneath the Thrive Market one is my Amazon shop page. It has both books and uh, all my kitchen gear, 90 of my kitchen gear. Speaking of kitchen gear, I don't want to talk about it yet, but Erica and I had a great brainstorming session about another Flav City product that lives in the kitchen realm, but it's going to be a game changer. Think about like equipment and how much stuff you don't necessarily need. We have something that is like essential to all home cooks, but weeds out all of the filler and just gives you stuff you really need. Stay tuned for that. I think it could be like mm. a ridiculous idea. Okay, let's check the temperature. Kara, so come back yonder. So this is on my essential kitchen gear um, item list on amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, a probe thermometer. Do you have one, at Kara? I do not, you but do I, not? I am in the market for one, so I should buy it pretty soon. Oh, we'll get you one. You don't worry about that. <laughs> That's the perk. So I, I, the breast meat, I'm not worried about. I'm more concerned about the thigh meat. So I'm going to stick that in, the thigh here, in the deepest part without touching a bone. Put it back in. And normally this is done at 160, but I actually want to carry it over to like 170 possibly. That way the dark meat really breaks down, the collagen melts and all that stuff. So let's see where we're at here. Oh, wow. It says 181 already. Nice. Mm. Okay, just to make sure we're not messing around, I'm going to poke it one more time. It's ideally not great to do that because now the juices will come out here, but we'll live. We'll be okay. Oh, the, the skin is like super crispy. Okay. Yeah, Rosie, Rosie is the chicken. That's his 200 there. Wow. that's. Now, normally that would be overcooked, but I'm honestly not even worried about that. Cool, and just, just to double check, we'll check the breast meat here. Oh, look at the skin, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Yeah, breast meat's at 185. All right, so this is done. We're gonna perfect. take it out, it is perfect. Now, what would you guys recommend for a chicken this size? Would you say, hey, Bobby, rest it for five minutes, no need to rest it at all because it's already spatchcocked, or rest it for 15, 20 minutes? What do you guys think and why? And then I'm gonna cook this flatbread. This is the Paleo Capello's flatbread. Just be nice to have like a little kind of paleo 
thread on the side to make a little wrap out of. I'm just going to put this on, I'm going to put it directly on the, uh, the rack like that. And I'll just check it after five minutes. How about that? What are they saying? 15 to 20, rest it. 15 to 20 is exactly rest right. Rest it until the salad's done. Exactly. Rest it until the salad's done. Unless I finish the salad in five minutes, then you wouldn't <laughs> want to do it. Um, because the juices really need to redistribute. They're hot as can be. They're 180 degrees. If you cut into that chicken right now, juices will rush out like a dam broke, right? The dam breaks, the river floods, and the chicken, which was juicy AF, will be dry AF, which is really, really bad news. By the way, can we get a round of applause for the one and only Kara filling in for art today, you know, holding the camera perfectly. She's doing a great job, right? Round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Yes, of course. My arms are not as strong as art. We, we are <laughs> out hard. here trying. <laughs> it's hard. She keeps going like, it's hard. It's not easy. Uh, what else? A uh, little bit of garlic for our dressing. Rose, you lost your pants. Thank you, we're, everyone. I really appreciate it. Yep, yeah, we're just about there, Mom. Ooh, Sean, I just got an email this morning about the new cookbook. Oh, oh, Art got exciting, one too. How cool exciting. is that? Yeah, I heard about that. Very exciting, right? Uh huh. What's a good flatbread if you're not paleo? Um, what would be a good? I don't really know too many flatbreads from the grocery store. Just get your favorite pizza crust. Get like um the Kali Power or the Kali Flour uh, pizza crust. So let's see. All right, time to dictate the salad dressing. Everyone, crowdsource. So someone write this down for me. We're gonna start with. I'm gonna eyeball it. We're going to start with a quarter cup. Now let's do more. Third of a cup of avocado oil mayonnaise. Third of a cup of avocado oil mayonnaise. Then we'll use, this is actually local raw honey that a fan sent me. She only makes it for friends and family. Let's do a teaspoon mm. of honey. Right? Then we'll do a teaspoon of maple syrup. We'll do a quarter teaspoon of salt, a few cracks of black pepper. We'll do one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. This stuff is so good from Spain, it's crazy. It's picked and then pressed, Cara, within six hours of harvest. Mm. Unheard of in the olive oil industry. Um, let's $2 shake up. super chat from Anna Maria. Art oh, was busy today. Is busy. Anna Maria from Maryland. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Art's a little busy today. Let's put a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in there. Also, Rekka uh, said that the Go Raw seeds are made in China and then packaged here. Do you know about this? Uh, I don't know that. I'll have to check that. I'd be very surprised because they're organic and raw. So let me check mm. that. Also, Alexa has got to go for the night, but... All right, Alexa, great to see you. Thank you. So I hope Alexa wasn't the one dictating the recipe because she's out of here. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of apple cider, of um, sriracha sauce. Uh, we'll do the juice of a third of a lemon to start. Going to have to amend this on the fly here, but you guys can uh, update that in real time. Does olive oil need to be cold pressed? Yes, it does. If it's not cold pressed... It's not something I want to cook with or eat because it's been a little too processed. <laughs> yes, Bradley, just a couple octaves. He said, Art, your voice is so much higher since Bobby came back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, we'll take just a, little bit. a clove of garlic and grate that directly in. Just that one clove will add a nice flavor. Jackie I... Spiegel wants to know when you can order the t-shirts. Um, they'll be available, Jackie, uh, next Wednesday. Jackie, mm -hmm. thank you so much. In Long Island, the Flav City t-shirts, we have about five designs for men and women. Really, really good uh, colors and fits made in America. Hey, Rosty. Hey. My sweet Rose. Well, also, we have 917 people watching us this Friday. Fantastic. Welcome to Fridays with Flav. I just dropped the whole garlic clove in here. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. I don't know why I bothered peeling the garlic, because when you get a microplaner, which is an essential Flave City uh, device, leave the peel on. Check this out, Kara. The peel does two things. Number one, it stays on the top side of the microplane, but it also protects your fingers from being grated, so you're not going to hurt yourself. Hmm. And then all the good stuff comes through on the bottom. Isn't that cool? 
and then you just go boom, done. Ooh, easy. Yeah, it's actually Look at it's that. harder if you uh do it without if it. If you peel it, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh what's your take on sea moss? Sea moss? Um, I know Irish sea moss has some health benefits. I don't really know too much about it. Right. I think it's okay. Obviously not talking about uh sea moss like processed carrageenan, that's completely different, but uh yeah, my blender bombs I have have sea moss in them. I just don't know that much about it. Okay, this is pretty much done. Let's take that out. Roastina, my sweet. Okay, look at that nice and golden brown here. Let's just put that over here. Okay, Keith. Oven is done for the night. Usunanda put down the recipe that you just made on the fly. Okay, I'm, I'm, it's not, I'm not ready yet, but thank you. Continue to go. Um, let me think. Starting point. Yes, thank you. Sweetness we have, heat we have, acid we have, saltiness we have. Uh, oh, I know. Stone ground mustard. I said honey mustard, right, y'all? You can use any mustard you want, but I like this one, Kara. This is stone ground Dijon mustard, meaning it has the seeds, the brown mustard seeds, the mm. yellow mustard seeds. Very, very lovely. It's classy. Classy like Kara. That's how we roll. <laughs> Then we'll just mix it up. Let's see here. $24.99 super chat from Jackie. Jackie. Welcome back to Chicago. We miss you guys and sweet little Rose. Jackie, you're so sweet. Thank you from Long Island. You're so nice. Uh, have you made a recipe for chicken salad, balsamic vinegar, and mayo? I think I did that in the past. I always like to stir a little bit of mayonnaise into my vinaigrettes for some creaminess. But look at this, Kara. I mean, that already looks good, but I can promise you it's going to need some adjustment. Oh, by the way, that was a teaspoon and a half of stone ground mustard for those taking the notes. I guarantee it needs more acid. Let's see. That's good. Pinch more salt. Lemon juice. That's good. Oh, my God. That's a lovely dressing. Lovely dressing. Now listen, you guys know I love my lazy man's dressing of just scooping in mayonnaise, salt, pepper, and extra virgin olive oil. But this is nice, right? You ain't gonna buy something like this at the store. This has gotta be homemade. So an extra, um, so that's a total of two thirds the juice of a lemon. By the way, did the Cubs lose officially? I, I forgot to check that. Also, do you have a video on how to make your bone broth? Um, no, but we'll do it live on a live stream or Instagram very soon because now mm -hmm. I want to start doing it. It's also a five ingredient recipe in the upcoming cookbook. Uh, the recipe has evolved over the last couple years to roasting the bones ahead of time. That imparts a lot of flavor in there. But all it is is a combination of marrow, neck, and knuckle bones, uh, filtered water, uh, celery, onions, carrots, salt, and vinegar. That's it. It's, but you have to get grass-fed bones, and I have the best source from that, from a company the Flav City fans started. We have some bad news. Cubs lost. They sucked. Their offense is non-existent. Uh, I don't have any avocado, but that would be nice. So, yeah, that was a total of uh, the juice of two-thirds of a lemon. Let me double-check double for seasoning. Use the clean of this. We did it. So, email it to me right now, and then in real time, I'll put it in the... Um, body of the uh, description box. And then, like I said, don't get bogged down about the salad. Anything you want, a pre-made salad mix. I like kale, cauliflower, something crunchy like nuts, some shredded carrots, whatever. You want sweetness in there, then that's fine, right? I just bought some, where are they? I bought some uh, raisins the other day at, well, actually even better than that. Denise, I believe the cookbook is coming out December 1st. December 1st. That is correct. So if you order now, it'll ship on December 1st. And I believe the price will go down. Also $5 super chat. I saw that, Tammy. Thank you. Check this out. This is a, a little bit of dried Bing cherries here. It's one of the only ones I can find from Trader Joe's without sugar. I wish they were organic, um, but I just bought some organic raisins too, and I can't find them. But we'll put some of this. This is more fall anyway. Don't you think so, Kara? Mm-hmm. Cranberries would be nice too, but you got to yeah, get cranberries unsweetened cranberries. Very, yeah. very important. So many of them have sugar, it's disgusting. Brad Parham said the recipe has been sent. Oh, sweet, I'm gonna check that right now. Bradley Goju Jing Parham. To be honest, Brad, a touch of Goju Jing in here would add some nice funky umami flavor too. 
And now I can actually dress this mm, salad. It's delicious. Why can I dress this ahead of time, Kara? Because you have to let the chicken set. Um, true, but normally a <laughs> salad like this, if you have like romaine or spinach, will get wilty. But what mm. did I say about kale? It's got to be fresh. It, but it's hearty. It's, it can handle the dressing ahead of time. It's not going to get wilty. It actually gets better if you let it sit for like mm. 10, 15 minutes. To be honest, you can actually like save leftovers the following day. Let's just put the whole thing in there. And it won't get nasty. Nasty. Okay. Watching from Portland. Hello, Kara and everyone. Where's Uncle Farturo? Uncle Farturo has the day off. Uh, he was busy this week because we were gone for most of the week, but he'll be back on Tuesday. You don't worry about that. Next week, we got a huge lineup, you guys. I have so much content coming your way. I lined up some really good sponsors. Uh, the Olive Oil Company from Spain, uh, a great salmon company, more Thrive Market stuff. Kettle and Fire is gonna give us a flash sale with 30% off. Oh, by the way, notice what I didn't do, Kara? I forgot to put salt and pepper in the salad. Mm. This is one of my faux pas because yes, the dressing is seasoned very nicely, but the salad mix is basically a big bowl of bland veggies. Have you ever been into cauliflower, Kara, or kale and be like, oh wow, it's so flavorful? No. No, it's bland as can be. So season at every step of the cooking process. That's how you build ultimate flavor. And that's how we're gonna do it right here. So I'll mix that up. Rose's toys on the floor. Mm -hmm. Let's check that for seasoning real, qu real quick. It looks delicious. It, it looks amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Dressing. Popping. Crispy. Crunchy. Fresh. Plus, the whole meal, minus the flatbread, is keto paleo. That is also called the colon blow of salads. Why? Because the cauliflower has so much fiber. Kale has so much fiber. That's going to run through you, loosen up anything and really get you, you know, unplugged. That's tasty and it has a function behind it. I'm calling that the poop enforcer salad. That is good eats. Now, Bradley Parham said he emailed me. So let's check that. This is why I love live streams. I hate doing recipe videos that are pre made ahead of time. Here we go. Updated because it takes forever to film and edit, but in real time, I can get feedback. Isn't this fun, uh, Kara? Oh, I love it. It's so much fun. All right, let's see here. Uh, Brad sent this here. I'm going to do a third primal cup. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Thank you, Bradley Parham, for doing that. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to put it here. Let's see. This is so cool to do this in real time. Uh, salad dressing recipe. Third cup, primal kitchen, one teaspoon, one teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, few cracks, one teaspoon from, from Spain. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Brad, teaspoon of that, sriracha, juice of two third, a lemon, one clove grated garlic, strong ground mustard, done. All right, Bradley, everyone, refresh your screen right now. Let's here see what go. happens here, Rose. Check it out. Or, uh, Kara. <laughs> so, oh, wow, it went there. You don't have to refresh your screen, it went there automatically. Oh my God, that YouTube technology is amazing. So there it is, the dressing. Fantastic stuff Great. with my Amazon link, with my Thrive Market uh, promo code right there. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just made the dressing, but made it with a Meyer lemon. Rebecca Rob is classy AF. Where'd you get a Meyer lemon this time of year? That sounds lovely. Meyer lemon is a cross between a lemon and a clementine or a tangerine. And it's so lovely. A lot of people have them on the West Coast. Sounds really good. Oh my God. You've never had it? Mm -mm. Oh, it's fantastic. I don't think so. I'm guessing Rebecca lives in California. Oh, she has a tree. See, Ooh. she definitely, that's so awesome. A lot of people in California have like lemon trees and um, orange trees, or uh, they also have uh, kumquat bushes. Really nice stuff. Really nice stuff. God, the flavor of the Primal Kitchen. Does anyone who lives in the West Coast have the big jug of Primal Kitchen at Costco for that price of like nine bucks? It's amazing. Vincent! Hey, Bobby. I'm in Jerome, Idaho. They have a Mexican restaurant called Roasty Express. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Vincent. That's really cool. I love that. Now let's put everything away here. This has been a very laid back, chill live stream. I've really enjoyed it, y'all. 
because I'm not busting my butt. But I also get to like have that balance between fun and hanging out with y'all um, versus just head down grinding the whole time. And once again, big thanks to Kara for being the camera lady today. Very, very nice of her. And then some point next week, we're going to make this, you guys. I got them in the freezer ready to go. I've got the Costco Japanese A5. Look at this. A5 Wagyu oh, marbled steaks. We splurged on that. Art convinced me because it's a tax write-off. We're going to make that. It looks like two lungs. That's going to be crazy. Totally crazy. And by the way, I'm obsessed with... Uh, Acerola, if you saw my uh, Instagram stories from Boca, every day I stopped at Trader Joe's and Desi and I had an Acerola shot and I have the packets here. I put in my uh, smoothies. One serving has 1,100% of your daily recommended amount of vitamin C. Mm. This is how you stay healthy. For version two of my Amuti, right, the turmeric and ginger Amuti, I want to add, Carol, Acerola powder to this. So all of a sudden you have like five to 800% of your daily recommended vitamin C in here, yeah. along with the lemon, the turmeric, the ginger, the black pepper, the MCT oil powder, and the monk fruit, best in class. You, you can't beat that. It. You can't beat it, thank mm -mm. you. You have to have oil in your um, turmeric tea because oil helps the turmeric absorb in your body. And you have to have black pepper because black pepper activates the turmeric. So a lot of those shots will actually have black pepper, but they don't have any oil or fat in there. Um, my product will. Heidi, you can get the dressing recipe below, I believe. I think it already refreshed. Correct. It's in the description box. Thanks yep. to Bradley Gojujang Parham. Also, the tea is not available yet, but when will it be, Bobby? Um, most likely the latter part of the month. <clears throat> I'll let you guys know. Um, shopflavecity.com and I didn't put it, you know, let's just do it right now. So we can do everything else. Why not? I have a, um, a pre-sale list that my friend Erica created and everyone who signs up with that will get an email and get a chance to purchase it 48 hours before anyone else. Hmm. There's 13,000 people on the uh, pre-sale list, which is crazy. And we only have 15,000 products ordered. So you probably want to sign up and then on the format to ask you what kind of product you want to see us uh, come with next. And Erica is my business partner for that. So I'm going to paste that in right now. So it's here. Immune tea pre-sale list. And let's see. It should be there now. Check it out, Karen. I'll refresh here. Let's see. Another ad. Oh. oh, come on now. There it is. Immune tea presale list. Click in my Google form. This form has 13,000 people waiting, which is crazy to me. You'll get an email the second it goes live and be the first person to buy it. So check that out. This is going to be a very exciting product. Okay, skip the ad. I don't want to see that. Also, Tammy Gardner suggested putting your grocery list sometimes for future meals so that people could cook with you. Great idea. I'm so bad at planning these. I'd probably come up with a menu like two hours beforehand, but yes, I promise I will get better at that at least once a week. Who would want that? Hit the thumbs up button. I'm at 247 now. Hit the thumbs up button if you'd want a cook along. Would you actually cook with me? That's what I want to know. I think that could be really fun. You think so? Ooh, I think it'd be a cool thing. What were we at before? What number did you say? 247. Okay. So we'll see where that goes up to. Yeah, I think it could be a fun idea. Wow, and we're, we barely made a mess tonight too? That's exciting. That's exciting. Everyone seems to be giving you they thumbs up. It? Thumbs up in the comments. Thumbs up. Okay. Okay. All we'll day, do it. every day, said Viviana. Oh, nice. Viviana's down for anything. She's the best. Okay, we'll do it. I mean, I should be better at that. It just requires, to be honest, a little bit of planning. I think that'd be really fun. Okay. Let me just finish the cleaning up here. And then I can hear Roasty coming down the hall. Hey, Roasty. Hey, ready for dinner, my love? Okay. Easy, girlfriend. Easy, Roastina. Okay, it's time to cut into this beautiful chicken. Wow, that chicken looks bomb.com. And don't forget that we stuffed 
the um, ghee, the Thrive Market grass-fed ghee under the uh, skin of the breast Whoa. meat to make it extra juicy. Michael P, four ninety nine super chat. Michael. They just added non GMO wagyu to Crowd Cow. Ooh, that's interesting. I've heard of Crowd Cow. I heard they have wagyu at uh, Thrive Market too. Let me see. Check this hmm. out, Kara. I'm going to feed you. So check this out. All right, let's see. Here's the pasture raised uh, chicken box on here, which has a big sale for October. But here, I'm going to that for you. Thank you. I heard they have, let me see, beef. I heard they have, oh, there it is. Wait, hold on. Look at this. Where's the, I just saw Wagyu. Where'd it go? Beef. Oh, here we go. 100% or Wagyu beef. Mm. Wow, look at that. A Wagyu steak lover's box. Six pounds for 220. But is it, I doubt it's grass fed Wagyu. It's very hard to find that. First Light. Oh, that's the same company that makes the grass fed beef burgers at Costco. Oh my God, is this grass fed? Oh my God, look at this. It's 100% grass fed and grass finished non GMO certified humane Wagyu beef. How can you do Wagyu with grass? I don't know. Well, here's my question. Look at this marbling. That is not. The same kind of uh, marbling as my A5. But to be fair, A5 is like the best of the best. Should I order this, you guys? That's not bad marbling. This is the same company that has the grass-fed yeah, yeah. burgers. All right. I'm going to order that. And we'll make that uh, pretty soon. Okay, very, very exciting. All right, let's cut the chicken. There's a $2 super chat from D. Brown. <laughs> a a three-hour bolognese cook-along. Cook yeah, D. Brown. I, I, we might do that, to be honest. Sandra Diaz, the app's coming up probably in November. We still have a lot of work to do for that. What we got it. That's just for the side. Any for, anything to dip in? Mm -hmm. What can we do? Oh, we have pesto sauce. That might be nice. Know you. Grab that pesto sauce out, will you? Maybe I'll smear it on the chicken. So check this out, Kara. What I want to do is split the chicken right down the center. Shot through the heart. And now look at this. Check this out, Kara. The beauty of cooking this on the bone is look how yummy and juicy that breast meat is there. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, the beauty of doing the whole is I get the chicken wing. So let's just do my favorite thing ever. Take the chicken wing, make the meat umbrella. How do you do that? You push the meat down off the bone like that. You get that. All right, let's enjoy this here. Oh mm, my God. Wow. Gross. Try this meat. Mm. Mm, I got you, girl. Mm. I'm telling you. Some pasture-raised chickens can be a little gamey. This is the best one I've ever tried in my life. That is insane in the membrane, right, Rosie? Insane in the brain! Wow. Oh my God, so good. Let's just separate this. Here, Rose, have another piece of breast meat here. Wow. A little warm. There you go. Oh, that is tasty. I mean, normally I'm not a breast meat kind of guy, but this one is so darn tasty because it's bone on and it actually has flavor. Look at Where's this the chicken from? Cook's Venture from Thrive Market. If you didn't hear me say earlier, Thrive Market now has the best pasture raised chicken in the country from Cook's Venture in Arkansas. So when you click my link down below, I'll show you. It's very hard to find this at other grocery stores, but Cook's Venture has it, or Thrive Market has it. It's non-GMO. <laughs> Do you like it? It's uh, pasture-raised, non-GMO, slow-growth heritage chicken. You'll never see anything like this at the grocery store. It is so darn tasty, and it's the best quality chicken out there. I mean, look at this. If I cut... The breast meat in half. Look at this carrot. I mean, look at the juices from the breast meat. Get in there. Look at that. Oh, wow. I mean, are you kidding me? How easy is it to overcook chicken breast normally? Not that one. If I just cut a little piece of this chicken breast here. Normally bland, no flavor. This one? Mm, hot. Oh, my God. So good. Now, here's what you do, right? Yep. Oh, my God. This is so good. I'm not even kidding. I recently found out. Thrive Market have it. Let me just show you again. Check this out, girl. So, when you're on Thrive Market, first of all, you gotta show Thrive Market love. Click my link, try them out, 30 day risk free. If you don't like it, you get your money back. You're gonna like it, I promise you. Um, go to 
poultry right here. Make sure you click on the pasture raised box. Don't click on Mary's, that's just organic chicken. This is Cook's Venture. 16 pounds of chicken for 120 bucks, about $7 a pound of pasture raised chicken. That's what you want. Get that, get the ghee, get that all, the, all of that other stuff. This is the bomb. Now, come back over here, check this out. We'll take a little bit of what I was talking about, Gotham Greens pesto. Mm -hmm. This is the best one on the market. And then, here's what I wanna do. I wanna create a little platter. Careful, Rostina. I'm gonna take a spoon here. I'm gonna get a nice thing of pesto, right? I think this is actually semi-genius. Okay, we'll put the chicken right on there. So the juices, Kara, go into the pesto. You follow where I'm going here? Yeah. And the juices will actually make it a little saucy, Ooh. right? That's chicken fat, so we don't want too much of that. But we'll just let that just sit there for a minute. And while it's sitting there, I'll take a little bit of my really good Spanish, look at Robusto, extra virgin olive oil. We'll just garnish the top like that. Ooh, doggy. All right, that with the salad. And then we're like, hey, we need a little carbs. Why not, right? If you want it. We'll take a little bit of flatbread, just break it up there. You get a piece, Rose gets a piece. I got you, Rosie. here you go. Oh, it got a little crispy. Mm, I'm so good. Here, Rose, I got you. I got you, girl. Mmm, the heat just completely opened up the aroma, Rose, of the uh, extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, so good. Wow. Dusty, I'm gonna give you the honor of the second wow. chicken wing here. Now Dusty gets the meat umbrella, but she gets it dipped in pesto. Oh, should have thought about that before. I just gotta steal a piece of her skin. Dusty, here we go. Try this on camera. The meat umbrella? The meat umbrella. See? Oh my God. Wow. That's silly. Mm. That is silly how good that is. Mm. So good, you guys. Is that cray cray? Mm. Wow. Let me just make a plate and then Kara can come here and try it. So we have a little bit of salad. All right. A little bit of. Delicious, babe. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. So, so good. Right? to make, right? Easy. The key, you guys, is buying the good quality chicken and then just not messing it up, but spatchcocking it. You can buy it from Cook's Venture spatchcocked already. That's the cool thing. Let's give Rostina one more bite here. Ooh, Sue H has a cool idea. She yeah. said it would be great to have some keto paleo ideas a few weeks before the holidays. Oh, holiday. I have a couple recipes already from previous years and I have a, um, a roasted cauliflower pesto, cauliflower keto mash in the new cookbook with five ingredients. But yes, I will hook you up. I'm gonna make some latkes on live stream. All right, Kara needs a reward for being, we get a round of applause for Kara. Can I take this off? No, no, go oh, with it. Okay. I'll keep you around. All right. Kara rocking the house today. <laughs> Kara, go ahead right. in there. Do I need a fork. Yeah, go fork, knife, whatever you want. Thank you, Rachie Murray. You're so sweet. Mm, let's see if I can grab Yeah, it. get the sharp knife. We're not going to mess around. All right. Okay. Just off here or here? Uh, the plate. I All made right. that plate just for you, Kara. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yes, maybe try a spoonful of that salad, too. Use that spoon. I want you to try that salad. I want to get a little bit of the skin, too. Oh, yeah. And the, the pesto. Unplug the computer for us. Awesome job, Kara. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Oh, wow. my God. It's so juicy. <laughs> yep. The skin is very, very good. And that pesto takes it to like a whole nother right? level. Right? Just a little bit. Oh, Shaheen, yeah. welcome. I roasted the chicken for, I think that was uh, 45 to 50 minutes until the internal temperature of the thigh meat was 180. How's that salad? The contrast of it is really good. It's very fresh, and that crunch is really nice. Wow, look at Kara. Like She's it. upstaging art here. Oh, yeah. You're upstaging art. Wow. <laughs> wow, very, very tasty. This is the kind of food you want to eat. I mean, just full of flavor, fresh, nutrient-dense, delicious stuff. Um, so one more time, 
we gotta throw some love to Thrive Market. They've been sponsoring the channel for four and a half years now. They're about to have these pasture-raised pork sticks from Singing Pasture coming in about four days. Uh, the Thrive Market ghee that I stuffed in, under the skin is great. Collagen peptides, Desi's favorite virgin coconut oil, man down. And then, <laughs> Rusty, the chicken, right? The chicken, once again, is available. So what I want you to do is throw some love over to Thrive Market. Click my link here. That'll take you to Thrive Market. You get a $24 gift for signing up, but it's 30 days risk-free. You can cancel, get your membership fee back, no harm, no foul. But on their website, go to Meat and Seafood, click Poultry. Click on this one right here, the Thrive Market Pasture-Raised October Special. Get 16 pounds of chicken, 15 and a half pounds to be exact, for 120 bucks. Try this chicken out. This is Rose approved, it's Desi approved, it's Kara approved, it's Art approved, it's Bobby approved, uh, all that good stuff. So we just crushed, um, very, very tasty stuff. I love this flatbread from Capello's. You can dip it in anything, make pieces out of it. So that's it. We'll be back next week, a full schedule with six videos, including three live streams. We're gonna rock and roll, and that we're back. Tomorrow's video is about the fact that you're buying fake honey at the grocery store. Sunday's video is what to buy at Aldi right now. Tuesday, I have a video coming out. What to buy on sale, the sale at Costco right now. And um, that video is sponsored by Thrive uh, Laird Superfood. They have the peely nuts that just came on the market on Tuesday coming up. Peely nuts are gangbusters. They're going to be the official nut of 2021. That's it, you guys. Amazing time hanging out with the Flav City family. From DJ D Slav, all the way from the BG with massive love. From Kara, the camera woman, rocking it out today. From Rostina, Rostistima, we leave you like we always do. <laughs> We're just jumping out of her thing. Hashtag, keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Mwah! Delicious. Good job, Ed. Thank Bye, you, everyone. Dear. Bye, everyone.